There we are. <laughs> Make sure this is all plugged in right, because we don't want you to stop hearing my pretty voice now, do we? Now we can have fun with this lovely little thing that is just a joy to play with, really. I mean, just look at how nicely it spins. And the, like, the vortex that it makes. Making its own little spirals and swirls that constantly change. I mean, it really is just quite enchanting. Almost like weaving a spell. <laughs> that kind of thing. Here, let me let me make my little camera a little bit smaller. There we go. <laughs> so I'm like weaving a spell over your mind, stopping all the thoughts and weaving my control. Isn't that a fun thought? <laughs> a fun thought while you get to just stare and watch and look <laughs> at the lovely little toy that I've got. The nebula, as I call it. <laughs> round and around and around. Isn't it quite lovely? Seeing how the light shimmers in it. How it can look like it's pulsing. Or it can look like it's spinning. <laughs> it's just very, very lovely. <laughs> Always drawing you in towards the center. Where all of that pretty dust goes to stop. <laughs> Where it's all swirling towards. Just going around and around as I spin it, just to be stopped. <laughs> because of course it, like your mind, is always under my control for me to play with and toy with. <laughs> for me to spin around and around and then stop completely. Until your mind is blank and empty. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Isn't it fun just how easily a simple little toy like this can just take all of your mind <laughs> and just make it all stop? While you just watch. After all, it is very, very mesmerizing, don't you think? <laughs> it's fun both in a tactile way, getting to spin it round and round and round and round. And then making it come to a stop. And watching all the swirls. <laughs> watching how the light reflects off of it. All of the little details and swirls that it makes. <laughs> watching me control it. Watching me spin it. Watching me make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> I 
kind of like your brain. It's very easy to make it stop. Very easy to make it <laughs> like a lovely little spell easily manipulated <laughs> from my hands easily turned in a different direction at a whim bent to my will and my desires of course <laughs> <laughs> Such a fun little toy. It really is the kind of thing that you can just watch for hours and hours. <laughs> she just let it go and go and go and go. And just watch how. It all goes closer and closer towards the center as it spins. Closer and closer and closer until it stops. <laughs> and it just makes that lovely little spiral. <laughs> like a spiral right in your mind. Just like that. That lovely dark little ring continuing to go and go closer and closer. <laughs> Shifting the light. <laughs> and then sinking in and then being stopped. And making all of that beauty in that one little hole where everything just drops and sinks right at the center. Because <laughs> at the center, it's almost still. At the center, all of that little powder sinks and drops so when i make it stop everything else rises above it and it just turns into a little hole <laughs> a little point for you to focus on a little point where all of your focus just seems to drop and stop and fall <laughs> it really is just quite lovely. <laughs> Look at that lovely little spiral right there. Now that's the kind of spiral that can really stay in your mind. <laughs> Closer and closer and closer and closer until it stops and the spiral emerges <laughs> like an imprint on your mind almost <laughs> going and going and going and going my voice with the visual really is just Lovely. <laughs> Spinning round and round and round. Watching that dark green get closer again. And then stopping it. And getting that lovely spiral emerging. Like a little whirlpool almost. A whirlpool of thoughts, whirlpool of your will, whirlpool of desires that just gets pulled in and then drops. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Such a fun little toy. 
I mean, at some point, you really don't even need to have a voice along with it. You could just watch. But it is always much more fun to have my voice along with it, isn't it? <laughs> much more fun to see me weaving the spell. Going in your head, weaving it, spinning it all around and round. <laughs> Observing it, and then making it stop whenever I want and making something just so beautiful from it <laughs> after all a blank mind is a very very pretty mind and who doesn't want a very pretty mind right Always the spiral emerges. Because who doesn't love a good spiral, right? <laughs> Can you see why it's called a nebula? <laughs> Because it looks almost like a dust cloud, especially when it swirls like that. Because <laughs> even when you're just looking at it from above, you can still see the dimension that it has, the depth that it has. <laughs> All of that lovely space to then drop into and make that one little focal point <laughs> and then turn it back. Stopping and starting it whenever I want. Making that spiral reappear every time. Almost drawing you in, really. Closer and closer. Until it stops. <laughs> Always sinking a little bit more. Seeing that spiral and sinking more. <laughs> closer. And closer and closer until it stops. <laughs> There's the spiral. <laughs> A very enchanting, lovely spiral. A spiral that just takes your mind over and over and over again. Spiral that just makes it very hard to think. <laughs> After all, why do you need to think when you're looking at something just so lovely, right? <laughs> why think when you can just stare? When you can just look? and watch and observe and get sucked in and see the spiral again and all that mesmerizing light shifting around in the dust making all those beautiful swirls and then the one main spiral as it continues to spin <laughs> all really just drawing you in deeper more and more towards the center closer and closer and closer going and going and going and stop 
right in the middle of the hypno? Yeah, kind of. I mean, clearly we're just innocently watching a very pretty mesmerizing thing, right? <laughs> Although we did do some doodling earlier. Spinning and spinning and spinning, drawing you deeper and deeper as it closes and gets smaller, more focused, more precise. Until finally it stops and you get to drop even more, having the spiral in your mind. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Isn't it enchanting how that works? How easy it is to take your mind with lovely little pretty things. <laughs> Spiraling around and around and around. Stopping and starting. Over and over and over again. <laughs> really is just very, very mesmerizing. I mean, we could probably do this for hours. But alas, we do have other things that we can toy with as well. But maybe I'll bring the nebula back later. Maybe. One more time. <laughs> Just watching it go and go and get more and more focused towards the center, right towards the itty bitty center. And then once it reaches the center, it starts to sink, and then I make it stop, and the spiral emerges. <laughs> Very fun. Definitely one of my favorite. Toys. <laughs> <laughs>